Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection thing. I didn't bother doing my makeup for this video because I'm just going to film this and then go to bed. So this is an overview of my desk because I do my makeup in my closet. I don't know if that's weird, but this is the only place I have to do it, so I do it here. <laughs> so we're going to start in this like little organizer that's over here. These are all my like powders or highlighters, just powder products that I don't know where else to put. Well, they're not all powder, but let's start on this side. These are e.l.f. blotting sheets that I don't use. I also have some from, uh, I don't know, they're somewhere. They're in a blue pack. I don't know what they're called. This is a BYS cream blush palette. I literally have never used this, but my friends have. And they've dug into it. It looks so disgusting. This is an e.l.f. blush and bron and contour thing. It's in the shade bronzed violet, which is too dark for me, and I just use the I just use that one because it's pretty. Then I have these four Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting. Powders, it's Precious Petals, Royal something, I cannot say that word, C Crown of My Canopy, and then the black one, which is not your basic witch. I also have another one that's in this, that it broke, so I put it in here. It's this side. I don't know what color it is. I know this is also an e.l.f. product, this side. It was a baked blush, but I don't remember what it was so yeah this is a ruby kiss all over glow bronzing powder it's really pretty i don't use it but <laughs> i guess i don't know this is a covergirl eye single eyeshadow in snow blossom it's just a white this is a mary lou manalizer aka the the, you know what this is. It's just a basic highlighter that's a little too golden for me, but this is a Morphe single highlighter. My friend ripped off the label, so I don't know what <laughs> color it is. I really need to keep the labels on my products, but I don't. This is a Color Workshop eye primer, I think. I don't use it. My friend gave it to me. Then I have two setting powders here. I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. And then I also have my favorite, which is the NYX HD Finishing Powder Ooh. in Translucent. <laughs> what a surprise. And this is just a Walmart, like, white powder. I don't know why it's over here, but it, it is. <laughs> gonna go over this little compartment that's over here this is just a mirror a handheld mirror this is cover uh, a brow pomade from covergirl it's uh, it doesn't say the shade but it's too light for my eyebrows but I have it anyway <laughs> this is in LA colors brow pomade in dark brown which is still a little too light for me but I've used it a lot <laughs> This is a Wet n Wild pigment, Color Icon pigment. It's You're My Boo. It's just a white shimmery one that I use a lot. And then a lip balm. A Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter one, which I don't use this one a whole lot because I do have another one. I do have more over there, which you'll see in a little bit, but it works. It's not my favorite, but it works. Now going up to this little compartment just up of all my other ones. This is where I keep all my foundations and primers and concealers and mascaras and all of that. This one way over here is the NARS Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation in the shade... <laughs> in that shade. I don't know how to say that. This one's too dark for me and my friend gave it to me, so, you know, I keep it anyway. Uh... Another foundation. I just got this one. This is the Rimmel Lasting 
finished 24 hour 25 hour breathable longwear foundation in fair ivory which is still a little too dark for me but i'm really pale <laughs> like it's not even funny but my friends always make fun of me for how pale i am is that better lighting probably not um another foundation la colors truly matte Hold on, how do I make this lighting better? The Truly Matte Longwear High Pigment Foundation in Porcelain. I need to look. These are my favorite foundations, which are the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Oh, I hate that sound. Uh, this one's in Porcelain, and it's almost empty, and this is in Alabaster, which is brand new. I just got it, because they didn't have this one, so I got this one. <laughs> Oh, I hate that sound. Um, I guess I should do concealers next, since I don't have any more foundations and everything is falling. Oh, I should start with primers. I'm so dumb. Anyway, <laughs> this is my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Concealer. Uh, it's in the shade Eggshell. This lighting is not working. And then I also have this Rimmel uh, Finishing... 25 hour breathable concealer in 101 fair ivory why is this so both of those are way too dark for me but you know it's fine this lighting sucks we're just gonna keep going with it these are the nyx can't stop won't stop i have a lot of nyx products at least for my base products and concealer this one's in pale and this one's in alabaster this one works for me alabaster doesn't but I can make them work. I have this Revolution Hydrating uh, Primer. It's not in a shade, but I have really dry skin, so I use it a lot. I have this Master Blur Stick by Maybelline in 100 Universal Transparent. It's pretty good. <laughs> this one I just got from the Dollar Tree Smoothing Face Primer in Clear. I don't know why I got it, but I did for the shits and giggles. And this is my Morphe Eye Primer in Translucent. It's okay. I also have one that's just not in this because it's short. And it's I just got it the other day. And it's L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. Uh, there's just nothing else about it. But it looks cool and it feels funny. I can't hold anything to save my life. Mascaras, which I have way too many. I have the Colossal Volume Express Classic Black from Maybelline. Looks like that. I like this one a lot. Which it's a mini because it came in a like Christmas set. This is the Color Workshop Mascara and Hands and Curl. Also came in a set with like 40 other ones and I got rid of all those and just kept with this one. I have the Voluminous Lash Paradise from, uh, who is this by? <laughs> L'Oreal. By L'Oreal. From L'Oreal. Which, this is a classic, you should know what this one looks like. And then I also have the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eye Maybelline Mascara, which just has a skinnier wand. Which, this one isn't my favorite, but I'm going to use it up. I also have this Revolution Hydrate and Fix Enhancing Makeup, like, setter, I guess. It's the Long Wear Oil Control, which I don't need oil control, but it works really well, so I keep it. And then I have these two last glues. The Kiss and Kiss Slash Strip Adhesive in black, and Kiss Strip Adhesive with Aloe in clear, which... Both of these are disgusting. You can't even see those. Both of these are disgusting. And I need to clean them. But I'm not going to. So, here we are. So now we're going to move to this, like, little cubby hole back here that holds all my, like, eyeliners and stuff like that. So we have... I'm just going to go by what I pull out. I have this NYX Epic Wear Waterproof White Eyeliner. This stuff is really waterproof. <laughs> it's... It's really hard to get off, but it works really well, so I keep it. I'm going to say that a lot. Oh, I have two of these. 
I have these SM Smoke and Mirrors Metallic Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliners in Rose Gold and Silver, which, I don't know, I got these from Five Below, and they work pretty well. <laughs> I have this LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil Crayon in White, which I've used a lot of this. It's almost empty. <laughs> I have this e.l.f. In instant Lift Brow Pencil in Deep Brown, which it's a little too light for me, but I like it. It's pretty good. I use it a lot. I have LA Colors Liquid Black Eyeliner. I know I have more of these. More of these back here somewhere because I really like this eyeliner because it's like one of the only ones I found that don't burn my eyes. <laughs> Or burn the skin around my eyes. I also have this Revolution makeup. Uh, it's just a double-sided pen eyeliner. Felt tip eyeliner that burns my eyes, so I use it for my eyebrows. I have this Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel in soft black that I use sometimes. Take a shot every time I say I use or so um or I don't know I like it. <laughs> I have this Elf liquid eyeliner in Midnight. I just got this the other day. It's a dark blue, which I don't know if I'm gonna use, but it looked cool at the time. I have this Wet and Wild Mega Liner in Voltage Blue. It's really blue. <laughs> And I don't wear blue eyeliner very often. I don't wear fun eyeliner very often. I need to start doing that. I have this Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Espresso, which I use for my eyebrows when I run out of everything else. And I lost the cap. So, <laughs> great start. Hey, there's another. That's all down there except for this. I have this CoverGirl Farewell Feathering Lip Liner in clear. I got it in a set with a lipstick. We're gonna move on to the palettes that are right here, but first right over here I have the Sephora Collections Magnetic Palette, which I just house all of my single eyeshadows or bronzers, which they don't fit in here, so I need to get another one. But this is the Physician's Formula Bronzer. This is a Halloween black eyeshadow. These three like weird shaped pans are a LA Colors eyeshadow like quad that I just have four three of these are makeup geek eyeshadows which I think they say their names on the back this one is so pale if you can see that this one is pink brulee This one is Sensation, which is just a purple glitter. And then this dark brown one is Charcoal Brawn, I think. I don't know. I'll put it up in production. <laughs> and this is a Mar I Mark Custom Pick Eyeshadow in Cake. It's just a glittery pink. I need to get better lighting. I promise in the next video I will. And now we're going to move on to the ones that are just right here, which I know I have more eyeshadow palettes over there, which I'll probably throw in in this little section. This is the Nude Floor BYS eyeshadow palette I got from Dollar General, I think. It comes with how many eyeshadows are in here? Twelve? I think this is a dupe of something, but I can't tell. I need to zoom y'all out. Is that better? Probably. It just looks like this. I think I'll move my lamp too. And right here I have this Mag Magnifies Color Edition Rimmel London Palette in 04 Color Edition. Okay. I mostly just got this for this blue because it's really freaking pretty. It's a really freaking pretty blue. This red is also really pretty. I need to stop talking about why my shadows are pretty. This one is a busted up palette. It's a Profusion Cosmetic Eye and Cheek 18 Color Eye and Cheek Palette. The lid is broken off and it's 
I used to use this like every day because this is all I had. I also had like the Profusion Wonderlust palette. This is the palette I use all the time now. This is the Beauty Glaze Color, uh, Color Fusion Over the Rainbow palette. It just has a lot of colors and it's so pretty. I use the red, I use this red a lot. <laughs> As you can tell, I've hit pan. And then I also have these palettes that are off to the side because they don't fit in here. I think I have one more in here. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. This is the Hard Candy uh, Look Pro eyeshadow palette in Mat Matly in Love. I found it at the Dollar Tree one day, and I thought it looked cool, so I bought it. <laughs> I would only really use that color in the eyeshadow palette, that red right there, but... I have it for when friends come over, really. Yeah, that fell out. I have this LA Colors Eye Makeup Contour Palette. Uh, I turned the light on. <laughs> Which, this is all different shades mixed together from, like, the three I had. Uh, I don't think this one had a shade name on it, but I just mixed a lot of different colors in here. <laughs> or different things, like face powders and contours and highlight and blushes. <laughs> Uh, I think that's all of my palettes. Next, which we're right off to the side over here, I have my eyelashes, which I do not know what all of these were because I lost all the packaging and I mixed and match. I also have these false lash Ardell false lashes, which they're just like individual lashes in order the stickers. I also have this pack, which I got off Alex or yeah, AliExpress, and it came with, like, all of these rows were filled with these eyelashes right here, and they're really pretty, and then I have smaller ones up there, and these ones I just got, actually, I know which ones these are, <laughs> they're the Ardell False Mink Lashes in Wispy, or these ones right here, and then these ones are the, um, I have the pack over here, the LA Colors, Jewel Eyes and Wonder, which it came in this packaging. Those are all my eyelashes. I love these a lot. These small ones up here are also Ardell lashes, but I'm not sure what style, which they were my first pair of pack of eyelashes, and I don't wear those small of eyelashes anymore. I have this, eh, I have this like container that I put all the rest of my things in, like all the makeup that I don't want sitting in this thing. This is a Dollar Tree like brush thing for when you want to switch colors and eyeshadow. Um, I guess I'll start with the liquid highlighters and stuff. These are liquid highlighters that I just got the other day. They're from Starlit Studio Holographic Lightyear Sticks. Uh, this one is in Luna Lunar Light, and this one is in Moonlight. This is my Mega Glow Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Hello Halo in the shade Holographic, which it's not holographic. I literally, you know, I just spilled that everywhere. I literally bought this because it's a holographic like it's kind of white and then it has a pink cast to it. I also have these Wet n Wild Mega Glow makeup sticks, a highlighter and a blush one. The bl the highlighter is in When the Nude Strikes. Yeah, there's something black on that. And then I also have the blush one in Peach Bums. If I can get it open. Uh, I guess I'll go with this. I have this liquid eyeshadow from Cover FX. See, there's stuff on it. The Shimmer Veil Cover FX in Amethyst. It's really pretty. I don't use it a whole lot because my friend gave it to me, but, you know, it's fine. That's an empty pot. I have this LA Colors Lip Oil in the mint. Yes, yeah, the mint one. Um, I like it. I don't know. I use it for, like, chapstick. 
I have these pigment pots. I have this LA Colors Iced Pigment Powder in Glam. I used to have all of these, but I just kept Glam. I don't know why. I don't wear purple eyeshadow. I have this Infallible, um, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Always Pearly? Pearly Pink. And it just looks like that. Yeah. I also have another one of those in um, Silver Skies, which I think this one's dried out or something because it doesn't perform well. I might try to read something out. I don't know. This I have a, just a random pot. It's just a random pot of color. I don't know what it's from. But I also had a white, I have a white, like an empty white pot that I dumped into this because these two looked really similar. And they performed really similar so I just dumped it into that. So now I just have an empty pot. I also have this Bell Appear Cosmetics pre or like loose color in Celebration. It's like a really golden color. I don't know. My friend gave it to me. I've said that a lot. I also have this mini bare mineral mineral veil in the original. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too pink for me, but you do what you gotta do. And next is all lipsticks, which I have set to the side is my Wet n Wild I oh, can't see that. Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in in so noir cool it's just black i wear black lipstick more than literally any other lipstick the first i have this also mega cat liquid cat suit one in miss missy and fierce it's just a red which is probably the second most one i wear i have this give me mocha which this used to be one of my go-to colors but i just kind of fell out this one in pink really hard. I'm trying to actually show you. I have another one in nudist peach. And then I also have this Ligua Casu metallic in I don't desert you. It's, it's metallic. I don't know how else to explain that. I also have this Ligua Casu in high shine gloss in late night done right. Which one of my alters bought this? Well, I was out while they were fronting and they thought it was the black lipstick that I needed and it wasn't and <laughs> I got so mad. Wet n Wild sticks, and like 99 cent sticks, in Mochalicious and Blackout. I have this e.l.f. lips, lip bullet, I don't know, in sociable it's just a red if it's not black i'm wearing red i have this rimmel i have a lot of rimmel stuff i'm just realizing that lipstick it smells really good this is like the smell of my childhood in under my spell 800 under my spell why is this stuff wet also have this ruby kiss lip bullet in mauvet this is really old. I probably need to chuck this. Um, I have this lipstick, which I have no idea what the branding is because it rubbed off, but it's just a red that I've had for years. I have this LA Colors Matte Lipstick, and I have no idea. It's rubbed off. <laughs> I need to take better care of my makeup. I have... This L'Oreal lipstick in Berry Extreme, which it's broken. Ah! Point. I hate this lipstick. It's broken, but the packaging is so pretty, even though it's all dirty. I also have this CoverGirl lipstick in metallic lipstick in Flushed, which this is the one that came with the with this liner. I have this LA Colors matte liquid lipstick in Fierce. Would not recommend this, but I used to have a lot of them. I have this Stay Matte Rimmel Lip 
liquid lipstick in a uh, shadow, I think it was. It's just a gray. I used to have the black one too, but I wasn't a fan of the black one. And I also have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi Stick in red. I also lost the lid to it because I'm a dumbass. So next on my desk, I have this mirror that I just got that I keep that like lights up and I keep, yeah, it lights up randomly. I just keep these two lipsticks and a, like a random brush under there. Next, I'm going to show you my makeup brushes. So these are my makeup brushes and my like sponges over here, which I just cleaned all of these so they're still wet. These are my two makeup sponges that I use a lot. They're from Dollar General, I think, but I really like the pink one. Ah! <laughs> I keep dropping things. This is my Eco Tools like little sponge thing. I don't know. I got it from the Dollar Tree. So these are all my eyeshadow brushes plus some scissors because that's always nice to have. These are all my eyeshadow brushes. I also have two pairs of tweezers, which these ones I got from um, Wish or AliExpress, and these are just random Mary Kay tweezers. <laughs> I also have an eyelash curler in here from e.l.f., I think. So these are all my eyeshadow brushes. I'm going to start with these two because I know what they are. These two are Morphe brushes. The top one is an M573 and the bottom one is an M441. They're just two fluffy brushes. I also have... Uh, or they're Wet n Wild. They're Wet n Wild. I'm, I'm smart. I also have this one. These are Wet n Wild eye brushes. I got them from the Dollar Twee a long, long time ago. These are the e.l.f brushes. I got them in like, no, these weren't the ones I got in the set. This is a concealer brush. This is the eye crease brush, which can you see that? This is the eyeshadow brush, which they're all eyeshadow brushes, but this is a blending eye brush, which are e.l.f. brushes too. I got them in a set with some of my face brushes over here. This one is a eyeshadow C brush. This is a angled contour brush and where my camera cut off but i'm just gonna go with what i said last which was this blending brush from elf and then i also have this elf uh contour brush or concealer brush i can't read Ooh. these elf i have a lot of elf brushes apparently because i know i got a lot of sets from elf this is a lip defining brush I have this small angle brush, which I use for my eyeshadow. Take a shot every time I say brush. L, this is my e.l.f. blending brush. <laughs> I need to stop saying brush. And then I have this eyeshadow C brush, which is like the other one, just in different packaging. Oh, I also have this eyeshadow or eyelash and brow spoolie. I have these <laughs> e.l.f brushes which are just clear with brushes on one side labeled two, 204 I also have this 203 brush which is just a spoolie and an angled on one side but I ruined the angle brush with liquid latex and then I also have this brush in 202 which is just a small eyeshadow brush and then I just have these oh I also have a sponge applicator thing at the bottom uh, these two are from Beauty Accents. The top one is a blending brush, and the bottom one is a defining eyeshadow brush. I have these two brushes from Profusion. They came in Profusion palettes. Top is just a fluffy, 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 <laughs> just a fluffy brush with a like a flat brush at the end, and the bottom one is just a single blood like. I don't know, fluffy brush. I also have this Profusion angled brush that came in a eyeshadow, or not an eyeshadow, a brow thing. This is a Sony, Sonia, and how do you say this name? I don't know, Sonia something brush. And it's just a small eyeshadow brush. And then this one came in a unicorn set that I broke the end off of. I also have this handheld mirror just in it because I used to use that a lot. I have this e.l.f. Kabuki brush, I think that's right. I got it at the Dollar Tree. It's really soft, but I don't use it. 
have these two glitter handle brushes from e.l.f. I have this flawless concealer brush, which I mostly use for fluffing out eyeshadow. And then I also have this complexion brush, which I don't use either because I don't like the shape of it. Same with this one, which is a wet and wild, just fluffy fluffer brush. I'm trying to see e.l.f. brushes, which I think all of these came in a set. I have this highlighter brush, which I use a lot. I have this sc sculpting face brush, which, again, I don't use very often. I don't use a lot of these brushes very often. I have this e.l.f. small stipple brush, and I have this contouring brush from e.l.f. Uh, wild, I have this one brush, which is just an angled contouring brush, I guess. I have this e.l.f like portable brush I, I don't know I just have it <laughs> the Sonia and Kashik Kashik I think I'm saying that right I also have a portable brush from them and then I have these three brushes that came in a set with a fan brush that I don't have anymore these used to have writing on them and now they don't this is a contouring like angled contouring brush I use this one for my face powder because I really like it for powder. And then this blush brush, I'm presuming is what it's used for. I have this Beauty Accent Total Face Brush. Brush, brush, I keep saying brush a lot. And then this found Soho Foundation Brush, which I have another one of these in my bathroom from e.l.f. I think. <laughs> from e.l.f. that I put on face masks. Last thing on my desk is this, like candle holder full of chapstick because I have a chapstick addiction. This isn't even all of my chapstick, I'm sad to admit. But I'm not going to go through all of these because there's a lot. I don't know. I, I, I don't use any of these really. I just like grab one out every now and then and switch them out hoping to go through at least one of them. And then last thing that's kind of makeup related is up here. The, it's just like my little cart that I used to use for art supplies now that I use for this. I have a dress that needs to go away. I have paper towels, this to keep my room smelling fine, liquid latex, a cup to clean brushes, deodorant, a solid makeup cleaner that is disgusting, another cup, another brush cleaner. This is like a room. I need to zoom in. I like a room spray that smells like lavender that I do not care for. I have this perfume from um Bed Bath, Bath and Body Works. It's black cherry. I have this rose face mist that I don't care for. Lotion that I don't care for. <laughs> I have makeup removers and makeup wipes and contacts or cotton pads. Down here I have like some conditioner and stuff for my brushes. I have empties that I need to throw away but I don't have a trash can in here empty cases for when friends come over and I give them my lashes. <laughs> I also have all these like liquid latexes and cream face paints that I also have some over here. Fake blood, face paint, face paint. I have these face paint crayons. I don't know, they're super cheap at Walmart so I bought a few. And makeup bags. At least makeup wise. I also have skincare in my... I also have skincare in my in here but I choose not to I'm not gonna show that because it's kind of kind of boring unless y'all don't want to see that then I can show you my skincare stuff but I'm really bad at explaining things so <laughs> I'm being stupid if you guys like this video comment like share whatever comment like video ideas that I can do because I also have wigs I could show you I have crystals and skincare and art supplies and god knows what else <laughs> or if you want to see like makeup looks and stuff because i'm cool at doing those i just don't understand how to film and talk to people because i'm really bad at that whoa 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 edit that out please Woo! i also have Tourette's, so it's hard for me. i was cutting all of this out as i was filming or editing so let's hope this doesn't make it in ah this light sucks. <laughs> like, it's supposed to just be if you touch here, it turns off. But then if you touch here, it turns on. 
I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't understand this mirror. I don't even know what brand it's from. But anyway. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> I sound like Stampy. Does anyone remember him? Bye.